Okay, no scratch that, you did it. These past six days, you not only talked the talk about standing up to bias, bigotry, and injustice, you walked the walk. You were also part of ADL's inaugural virtual and national walk against hate. Across the country, thousands of you joined together to speak up, share facts, and show strength. I've been keeping an eye on our social media, watching our participant count grow, and seeing that needle move as you raise funds to advance ADL's important work to fight anti-Semitism, racism, and all forms of hate wherever they appear. Just look at what we achieved. Absolutely incredible. Now I want to introduce you to my friend Jason from the Bronx to tell you more about the impact of your work. Hello, I'm Jason, ADL's National Director of Education Programs. I am thrilled to share this day with you and so thankful that you've made the choice to speak up and step out against hate. Here at ADL, we fight hate for good. Now that sounds great, but what does it actually mean? It means that we advocate, we investigate, and we educate. We advocate for equity, cementing protections for marginalized groups through legislation, coalition building, and grassroots campaigns. We investigate extremism, monitoring and exposing threats both online and on the ground. And we educate against hate, working to create a better future through our children, because no one is born hating, we are taught to hate. Thanks to your generous support for the Walk Against Hate, ADL is able to continue its work on the front lines in the fight against hate. Last year, ADL tracked over 2,100 anti-Semitic incidents throughout the United States, a 12% increase from the year before. And our 25 regional offices around the country stand on the front lines in support of their communities when hate strikes at home. In fact, this year, we built a coalition to pass a comprehensive hate crimes law in Georgia, the 47th state to adopt the law based on ADL's framework. Your support also means that our Center on Extremism is able to intercept and disrupt acts of violence, and that our Center for Technology and Society can work directly with gaming platforms to address toxic bigotry, and that our Stop Hate for Profit campaign is able to reach more than one billion people and help curb the spread of hate speech on Facebook. We can't do this without you. Thanks to you, all of us at ADL can continue to stand with you in fighting hate for good. Earlier this week, I told you about all the different ways that you could walk against hate, and I knew I could count on you to go above and beyond. I've been so inspired by all of the ways that you've chosen to participate in this campaign. From book clubs to walking, cycling to education summits, arts projects to essays. I could go on and on talking about the different ways that you've been speaking up, sharing facts, and showing strength. Or, I could just show you. Before we hear a special message from our CEO, Jonathan Greenblatt, we want to take a moment to thank our sponsors. They have joined with you to make this year's Walk Against Hate a success and to speak out to fight hate for good. Hey there, folks. I'm thrilled to be with you here today for this virtual celebration of ADL's Walk Against Hate. And I wanna thank you for joining with ADL to fight hate for good. Whether you took a socially distanced walk with your friends, shared a podcast about systemic discrimination with members of your family, or posted something online, your actions from coast to coast show that our cities, our communities, and our country are no place for hate. I'm so humbled to lead this extraordinary organization. ADL has stood on the front lines, fighting anti-Semitism, protecting communities, resisting racism, and working to secure justice and fair treatment to all for more than a hundred years. We've accomplished a great deal in that time, yet much more work is left to be done. And ADL's mission and vision remains as relevant today and as urgent now as it was generations ago when this organization was founded. So I'm honored to have you with me, with the ADL, with all of our fighters for justice from the past and the future. 
to speak up, share facts, and show strength, and indeed, to fight hate for good. Your dedication to standing with ADL, your commitment to speaking up and helping us to confront hate, your support of our timeless mission, all of it makes this possible. And I believe more than ever that together we can and will forge ahead and create a world with more compassion, with more empathy, and more caring. One with less hate and more hope. And we will move closer to this ideal. Ours is a shared journey, and I'm just so thankful that you're on it with us. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Now, I've certainly let you know how much I appreciate you stepping up in the fight against hate. ADL has made it clear how valued your support is. And based on what I'm seeing on social media, it seems that people across the country are grateful for your commitment as well. But I've got a few more friends that would like to say a little something. And now that's something we can all get behind. Look at that. We appreciate you spending some time with us this afternoon or morning, depending on where you are. This event, the 10th anniversary of our Walk Against Hate and inaugural virtual Walk Against Hate couldn't have happened without you. We have made a difference, raised our visibility, directly funded programs that fight anti-Semitism, racism, bias, and discrimination of all kinds. Thank you. Before we go though, I wanna remind you our work is not done. If we wanna continue fighting hate for good, then we must continue the effort, speaking up, sharing facts, showing strength. We are stronger together. So we have one last request, keep the momentum going. If you haven't walked or participated yet, now is the time. If you haven't yet posted why you hashtag walk against hate, now is the time. And if you wanna lock in your bandana, t-shirt or water bottle by raising funds to secure justice and fair treatment to all, now is the time. The movement and our work doesn't end today. It grows and it grows with you. Thank you and see you next year.